Hey, we're coming at you here. T. Errors coming at you with Dice Foods. Otto is one of the owners of Dice and is an incredible entrepreneur that has started a business from nothing and now has more than six locations. At least I think it's six. They keep growing every day. So we're gonna go in here and talk to him and see what he's doing to become successful. All right, let's do it. Because I know that you promoted back in the day and you did really good and you were successful doing that. And then was that something that motivated you to start something on your own? And tell me the story just of what you do. Um, so I guess like as you mentioned, um, I, used to, I used to do uh, events and promotions um, 10, 12 years ago. I did it for a couple years. It went real well. Um, I can definitely say that you know, that experience there definitely uh, helped it um, helped me here as far as uh, dealing with mass amount of people, marketing, um, organization, and, and uh, staffing, etc. I, I don't, I, well, I don't, I can't say it was my motivation to do this, um, but definitely it, it, it did, it did, uh, it did, it did influence the success uh, of this. How I fell into dice. Um, it wasn't ever something that like I specifically wanted to do food. But tell me, um, I know that you were working at another venue. Yes. And you met your partner yes. at the time and you started with a little shop which is still, you know, open and it's one of your most successful yeah, ones. So, so I was working at a nightclub, um, I was working at a nightclub and at the time I was working with somebody I had reached the peak at the place already, I was a general manager. I could not make more money than what I was making already, even if I brought on more uh, success. And I always wanted to do something, and I'm always failing and trying and failing and trying. And, um, and I fell into the opportunity that I met um, when I was working there. I met my business partner who was uh, running the kitchen uh, at the location there. So he had a lot more food experience than I did. And, and together, being together so long, we were able to, to create this, this idea uh, that Dice is now, which is basically you know, something that you can need uh, Every day, and you know, there's, so, so it's one of the the healthy choices to eat that we don't have a lot of those, especially in Miami, that you can come and get you know fast food that is actually really healthy and and, and delicious. To yeah, be honest with you. you definitely want to be able to give you like you know hit on all points as far as the presentation, the quality, the service. You know, those are all things that 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 we strive for. And, give you a healthy and a good product. I mean, no, nothing in our restaurant will get served if it's not fresh. That's part of like our guidelines. You know, our, our service, you know, you can even have a Yelp reviews or you can see, you know, the Kayla Top. It's, it's something that we strive for. We want to be the, the, the second Chick-fil-A. You know, you know, when you go to Chick-fil-A, you see all the, you see all the memes and it's so extra. Right? That's something that we want to model, uh, that energy, that, that, that positivity that they give. We want to have that, that, that culture. It's a great uh, company to try to like become because they are and modeling that company would be amazing. And I know you've done great. I mean, what what is it? You already open five or four or six? Where are you at now? Because um, I lost count. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's been a journey where we opened uh, five locations uh, currently. We have one more that we expect to be open in the next uh, 60 days, and we just on, signed on two more. So hopefully by the beginning of next year, we'll have a uh, Eight total locations. Wow, that's, that's incredible. Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's, it's been uh, it's been tough, but it's been fun. Yeah, well, yeah. that's good. And um, so, what I want to know is try to give um, people some like uh, advice on what to do, especially in a time like this that uh, we're wearing masks. You can't eat inside. What have you been doing that might help somebody else? You know, not give up and say, you know what? Stick with it because 
you know, you, you, you're going to make it, you know. I mean, the best thing you can do is, is really stay positive and, and know that time time heals all. I mean, you just when you look back at history, there's been worse times than these and everything always passes. It's just, you got to have the patience. Basically, basically, you have the patience and remind yourself that, like, it's not forever, you know? Right, right. At least we hope it's not. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm sure we're going to get by, by this. this is a, I, I think the, the tough times, you know, I are, agree. Are I, think, I, I, I think the light is not, we don't see it yet, but, but we're getting, there. It's there. We're there. It's there. It's there. It's there. I mean, there's no way but up, really. So yeah, that's yeah. all you can think about, you know, and, 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 and have that positivity and that, and that energy. And, and if it doesn't, then it wasn't meant to be, you know, something, you know, there's been a lot of times that like, I expect something or I wish for something or I have that patience and then it doesn't work out and I'm very disappointed in the moment in the immediate future. But then it, it ends up being something better comes out of it. Right. You know, a better situation, a better business, a better deal, a better whatever. So it's kind of like just even patience with that. Even if it doesn't work out, have that patience. Usually if you just keep sticking through it. Sometimes you're gonna be like, damn, I'm glad that six months ago I really wanted that to happen and it didn't and now you're in a better situation. So I think it's just having that 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 that, uh, that patience and, and what, what I know why your business is, is successful is because of your drive and you know and your vision and you know letting things happen. That's you know that, that's something that you don't find uh, very often, which is awesome to see. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask you was I see a tat here. Show everybody this awesome tat right there. Yeah, I'm missing a couple of lines for this location. <laughs> it's been a while, so I gotta get a, I gotta get a, four more. I gotta get the, oh, the tally man. and then one for each of them. Damn. Each, each <laughs> Someone told me when they, oh, what if you have like a hundred locations? I'm like, I wish I could tap my arm with a hundred tallies, you know? <laughs> Shit. Well, that's the goal then, right? You know? Right. We recorded it, so that means you a hundred. I want to see a hundred the next time. Hey, man. <laughs> that's that's. Uh, uh, keep no, the faith. Keep the faith, right? Yeah, man. I mean, just keep keep, keep moving forward, man. Usually, like like I said, a lot like earlier, like a lot of times, I think something I really wanted it to happen, and something better comes out of it. I would say more times than not. Right. You know, I can't say every time it's gonna be like that. If everyone was like that, then right. we'd all be fucking successful at yeah. everything. Yeah. You know? yeah. so, um, but at least more times than not, the odds are in your favor. Cool. Now, um, how are people ordering now, and what are you doing? Are you doing seating outside for people? Uh, so we're following all the guidelines that um, that the county, that the county uh, has us adhere to, and being as extra on top of those guidelines as possible. We're giving everybody um, every single option possible to order, from Uber Eats to direct online ordering with us, to calling in your orders, to walking in, to walking in and, and, um, and placing your order. You currently can't dine in, but you can dine out. Not too many tables outside, but there's a couple uh, out there. And um, cleaning every hour, everybody's wearing their mask. Staff has to wash their hands constantly every 30 minutes. Um, we try to take every step possible. If anybody has any symptoms, they gotta automatically go home, get tested before they come back to work. If you do come out uh, positive, we make sure you get tested two times before you come back. Anybody that you're in contact with, we make sure that they get tested also. It's not just the safety of our guests that come to eat, it's the safety of our team, you know, so like, without the team, we're really nothing, you know, and we have a really good team, so we wanna make sure that, like, we take care of them. Um, awesome, awesome. Um, so, what... So, tell me where people can find you, where, you know, your website, where, you know, where they can order their food, and, and you know, and tell me um, just, you know, where, where they can actually start ordering. Yeah, uh, food. Like, like you mentioned, we have five locations currently open, the Kendall Pines, Doral, uh, West Miami, Kendall, and Pinecrest. We're going to be opening up Miami Lakes in the next 60 to 90 days. Um, about the next four to six months uh, in front of FIU, and then hopefully uh, somewhere between the next six to nine months in, in Country Walk by the zoo area. Wow. Uh, those are our locations. Uh, you can find us um, in any of those locations. You can do a pop up on Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, which you can also order directly with us on uh, nicefood.com uh, for pickup or delivery, and you also get our uh, rewards points if you order directly uh, with us. Oh, good. 
So that's, that's good to know. Um, so yeah, I just, I wanted to come in and... I get, my, I get my shirts from Stairs from Stairs Group, by the way. Yes. <laughs> F FYI. <laughs> so, to finish off the, the awesome interview is just, uh, you know, I want to thank you for your time. And, you know, I wish you the best of luck. And I know you're going to make it. You know, and I'm proud that you, you know, you've grown so, so much. And, and I know you're going to grow even more. And I'm going to see at least at least 50 by, by next year. Uh, that, that, that'd, be a, that'd be a major blessing. I want to say thank you. Uh, you know, you supported from the beginning. And I'm like, just like my business has grown, I've seen yours grown. I think we opened around the same time. Around, around. around there. And like, I used to pick up stuff at your house. And now you have a huge office. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's really cool to see uh, the, the growth. And, uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the goal. Um, I don't have any tracks, so I can't, you know, put any of those yeah. marks, but it's all good. But mine's gonna be uh, how many, how big's your warehouse? 30,000 square feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100,000. I like it. I like it. So, yeah, we'll go keep going. So, alright. Well, yeah, that's all. That's all I wanted to do. Thank you, thank you. We gotta, you know, we gotta fix one for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no more hands. We gotta shake. We gotta cancel. Yeah, for sure. So we gotta, we gotta, of course, we gotta sit here and not eat because it's obviously illegal. Yeah, we gotta wear the mask. <laughs> but you know what, man? Whatever. We follow the guidelines and make everybody feel safe and, and get through it.